Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I just want to let you guys know we have some kind of bad news, where Sony themselves actually end up stopping one of these kind of really nice and lucrative things for people getting a really good deal. So the fact of this is, is a little bit sad, because I actually didn't even recommend this on my YouTube channel, up on Twitter, my Twitch streams, and all of that, that people should be doing this. And we also have kind of seen them preemptively do this on other various deals, such as the PS Now deal too, on top of that. And uh, it does now finally seem like Sony decided go and pull the trigger on all this stuff and basically, uh, well, not let people go and utilize it anymore. So we have a few little kind of bad things to go talk about, although I don't want to go and harp on them too, too bad, mainly on the fact of, well... I don't know, like, it makes sense. Like, at some point, you have to kind of move over to a brand new system. You have to make sure you're able to go make money. And this actually was a deal that was technically losing Sony money. So seeing this kind of makes me a little bit on the sadder side to hear. So we have a lot of stuff to go talk about over here, a lot of things to bring on up. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Twitter link down below for the PlayStation 5 giveaway. The Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well down below. The Weeble and Coinbase down below. And Xbox is too on sale down below. So in case you guys are kind of Curious on what I'm somewhat alluding towards on this. It does kind of seem like Sony now is blocking the subscription stacking plans, and basically at the point like before we do that full-on utilization over to the PlayStation Plus. As you guys know, there's three brand new tiers: normal PlayStation Plus, PlayStation like the middle tier, and then PlayStation Plus Premium. We we're actually even funny enough made a video on that earlier on today. If you guys missed it, I'll touch on it really quickly here. But if you guys missed it, go check out this, that video after we're done with this. But when it comes to everything with it, it is uh, kind of expensive. The biggest and most expensive plan is a $18 a month plan, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know, kind of expensive. Although, thankfully, it is optional. There's other proper tiers if you guys just do the normal $9.99 or also cheaper for the year deal for the PlayStation Plus side. It's pretty good. Like, it's pretty cheap. Like, it's just the normal end-all, be-all. You're not really missing out on too much. You can still play your multiplayer games. Not the biggest deal. It's perfectly fine. It's just the higher ones are a little bit more on the intriguing side. So, for this, uh, that's the, what makes it sad. Because people actually were utilizing this. And they were basically pre-buying and getting, like, an, either a cheaper PlayStation Plus card. Or, as well, like, you know, sometimes you find those weird websites that have them for, like, $30 for, instead of $60. And they were just buying, like, three of them, four of them, five of them. And we saw a similar thing, too, as well when it came to Game Pass, where people were able to go and essentially pre-stack, if you guys want to keep on hearing that word. It's basically just like you buy, like, five of them, you add them to your account, and then the next five years is good. So even if they raise prices or if they change stuff, you're basically guaranteed to be locked on into the highest tier and best priced one. But as I mentioned, we have some kind of bad news over here because it does seem like Sony either maybe caught on or just didn't want to lose as much money because obviously if you're changing these tiers, you want to make as much money as you can. And I do believe a lot of folks with either the PS Now or PS Plus subscription as of now do either have a free upgrade or an additional upgrade. And that's, I think, probably why Sony themselves wanted to block the subscription stacking. So with this, we actually have an article over here from Push Square talking about the kind of big drama of the day, saying that Sony is now officially blocking subscription stacking as prepaid PS Plus cards stop working on the PS5 and PS4. Not cool. So functionality temporary deactivated according to customer support. So as of right now, it does seem like Sony is officially taking it down and getting rid of these now additional PlayStation 4 and 5 cards, which stinks. I'm usually more of a pro consumer if you guys watch my videos when it comes to restocks, when it comes to other stuff, etc. I prefer people not, well, it's getting screwed over. I don't want people losing money. I don't want people having to pay more money. And if there's a deal out there, I want to go utilize it because at the end of the day, that's kind of important. Like, we want to make sure it's all good. So <laughs> keep that in mind. It stinks, dude. It stinks. So basically with this one, too, as well, uh, and also this little update for it, too, apparently Fuzzy Monkey Funk is one of the people who saw this, but I also saw the people up on Twitter. I saw there were, like, I think even people up on Reddit discussing it, and they also corrupted it, too, with other Square, uh, websites, too, such as Square Support, which we're watching right now, Square Push Square, which we're watching right now. Sony Support Department now has apparently been confirming as of now. So this is, like, officially from Sony themselves, like Sony Support, Sony Live Chat, what all you guys want to say, it has appeared that the company has deactivated the ability to redeem prepaid PS Plus cards to prevent subscription stacking. And like I said, as I was kind of talking at the start of the video, it's not fun to see. This is presumably because the PS Plus and PS Now subscribers will be upgraded to PS Plus Premium for the duration for their longest membership. So, man, like, it stinks. I mean, I get it. Like, I totally get why Sony would want to get rid of it. If they're losing out, you know, on extra, like, $200, $300, and they're also getting free upgrades, and people are somewhat buying it, like, right now before the big upgrade happens, 
I understand why they'd want to change it. I understand why they're getting rid of it. I understand why people themselves are taking advantage of it. Because in theory, if you know you're going to get a higher or more expensive, like the premium or the higher tier subscription, why would you not just get it cheaper? Like if you already know, you're, like you're some of those people who are on like the auto renewal, either way, you don't really care. Might as well do it now when you have a chance to go and save like, you know, $300, $400. Like I think some people are going up to five years. So if you think an extra $8 over 12 months, that's like over 100 bucks. do it for five years, you could be saving like $500, $600. And let alone, you know, if it goes up even more from inflation, uh, you know, three years from now, four years from now, something like that. Or if even more features get added to and it basically goes, and, you know, you know how sometimes for Netflix, they'll go make it 4K, but you have to pay an extra $2 a month. Like you never know, like if they're already on the highest tier, you could be even losing out more money on that, like more future money on that. So I understand why Sony wants to cut it off. I understand why Sony themselves are not accepting it. And at the end of the day, it is a little bit on the sadder side. Because obviously, when it comes to this stuff, I want people to go and be able to go and save money. Like, I, like if, I think really an $18 price point is kind of high. And I do, whenever I've asked my YouTube comments or even on Twitter, it does kind of seem like a lot of folks are in that same boat. Where a lot of folks are like, well, that is kind of expensive. Well, that is kind of a lot. I don't know if I want to pay for the extra $9 a month because it is, it's cool, but... And I think this is kind of like an easy workaround that people are doing, but now it doesn't work because Sony caught on. And I'm not a big fan of that. Like, they uh, they already have had this stuff, too, as well on this. And they did go and mention, too, on top of that, uh, they, said, they said it is only temporary. As soon as we have more information about uh, that, all that stuff, we'll let you guys know, too, as well. And the support email also says, like, I have checked the voucher in your account and conclude that as of now, there is a temporary deactivated function for PS Plus and PS Now subscriptions, which does not allow the stacking of either membership and already active stuff. They are saying it's only temporary, and they're saying, like, as soon as we have more information. But, like, at the end of the day, what I think they're doing... Because don't forget the PlayStation Plus and everything else is actually happening sooner rather than later. It's only a few weeks away. I think they're going to just be temporarily removing it, quote unquote, until basically the brand new PlayStation Plus system is out. And then they're very thankfully going to re-add it. And it'll probably either just be at a lower price point, say it's like the normal basic baseline PS Plus, which is kind of what you're paying for in the first place, and you maybe have an option to go and upgrade from there. Or at least at the same time, too, they might try to avoid out some of the old cards, which would be weird, because typically if you buy a gift card, you should have like a year or two to be able to utilize it. And this actually might be kind of a more of a issue, I guess, when it comes to Sony overall. So as of right now, they are saying, oh, maybe the next few weeks can get it get over here, too, as well. But like I think you guys would probably agree, based on how these big retailers or big companies do... They might have some issues for a few weeks, especially if everyone's trying to go and, like, you know, utilize them the best they can. Although, even as the article says, it's still possible to purchase a prepaid PS Plus card from the majority of major retailers, including Amazon, which we actually might go put a link down below in case you guys want to go and see. But it does kind of stink, too, as well. We've also had some other pictures, too, as you guys can see with this one, where it's like, hey, like, even for the UK, so it's not only just America. I have seen a lot of Americans having the same issues. We guys can basically see where these prepaid cards over here... If this code contains what I do want to redeem it, PlayStation Plus three month subscription to as well. And as people are trying to go redeem them with the voucher codes and all that stuff, it has the same message. This prepaid card could not be redeemed. Please try again later. And this also applies in regards to the PS Now because PS Now is pretty much out of stock. Uh, they did not want to have this a few months ago and they're trying their best to get rid of it. So I think maybe Sony themselves might be a little bit on the upset side because a lot of big retailers and like mom and pops, like, you know, if you go to like a Best Buy, 7-Eleven, they usually have these cards kind of sitting around. Uh, yeah, when it comes to that type of stuff, it's very intriguing to go and see. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> it should work. You know, at the end of the day, like, if you buy it, it should work. Or in the reverse, if you're Sony, if you wanted to take it out of stores six months ago, they shouldn't still be in stores or shouldn't be up in stock, like how it is up in Amazon. So it is a little bit of, like, a, I can understand Sony being like, hey, we ha at some point, we have to move to this new system. At some point, we have to, you know, move on. At some point, we have to do better. And then on the reverse, I could also see normal people being like, hey, I paid the $60 because I want to go and get my you know, at premium. Like, you promised the premium. Why are you getting rid of it? It's, it definitely kind of seems like a big, like, people are getting upset. Like, I saw quite a few folks that try their best to do it. Or even just, even some normal people just trying to get and buy normal PS Plus are also having issues right now as well. So, at the end of the day, we'll have to see if Sony's going to keep on wanting to do this. I'm not sure if they're just going to want to hold off until the new PS Plus system happens. Uh, at the same time, I'm kind of curious it'll be fully fixed. So we'll leave you guys a comment down below. But this issue's been going on for quite some time. And if they wanted to fix it, this probably would have already been fixed as of now. So we'll give you guys more updates throughout the day if some more stuff happens. I think as of like the time I'm making this video, it still is an issue. So we'll keep you guys in the loop the best we can. As well as if you guys want to give your thoughts and comments down below, feel free to. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 digital console controller. 
Twitter and Twitch stream as well, linked down below. And if you guys want to check out the Amazon links for PS Plus or other various stuff like the Xbox, feel free to down below.